In the eastern part of the Netherlands, just shy of the German border, lies Nijmegen, home to Radboud University. What makes the Radboud Science Campus unique is the cluster of its two large-scale international research facilities, the Felix Laboratory and the High Field Magnet Laboratory. Felix and HFML are two international research facilities that provide opportunities for scientists to study matter at the extreme. Felix provides high-intensity tunable infrared radiation and HFML generates very high magnetic fields, the highest persistent magnetic fields in Europe. Key to the research done at HFM and Felix is that we can put matter and materials under extreme conditions, like for example pressure and temperature do. By going to these extreme conditions, we can make new discoveries. You can think of HFML Felix as a special magnifying glass, where we can look in very great detail into the structure of molecules or into the electronic and spin properties of matter. By using this magnifying glass, we enter territory that we haven't explored before and we make new discoveries in fields like health, energy or smart materials. FELIX stands for Free Electron Laser for Infrared Experiments. We have a suite of four free electron lasers that we produce infrared and terahertz radiation with. What distinguishes the FELIX lasers from other laser sources like tabletop lasers is that we produce high intensity tunable and very short laser pulses and these are used for experiments at the extreme. We direct our radiation to 14 user stations where we can perform sophisticated experimental setups like molecular beam setups or pump probe setups. Our research involves mainly molecular spectroscopy and spectroscopy is used in many applications to investigate the structure of matter really at the quantum mechanical level. And in spectroscopy, it's important that you can scan over a wide range of frequencies. That makes Felix so unique. Felix is an optical frequency synthesizer, if you like, that makes any frequency within a very wide range in a matter of seconds with just a mouse click, basically. We're really looking at the effect that the light induces on the sample itself. And we call that action spectroscopy. This combination of mass spectrometry with infrared laser spectroscopy has great potential for future applications. For instance, body fluids in the hospital. Hundreds or thousands of compounds in there, but what are these individual compounds? What is their molecular structure? We can now record an IR spectrum for each individual peak in that mass spectrum, and that gives structural information. And this can have uh, applications in, for instance, biomarker discovery. High magnetic field facilities open up a new window into unexplored realms of the quantum world by revealing new phase space, new states of matter, and by acting as some kind of microscope into the many body interactions that define their physical properties. They're also important tools for soft matter to levitate, manipulate and deform living and organic matter, and they can even be used to grow new polymorphs of interest to the pharmaceutical industry. They act as a driver for technological innovation. The magnets themselves comprise of several hundred or silver-plated discs called bitter discs, which are interwoven into a solenoid through which up to 40,000 amps of current flow. In fact, in 2014, we built what was then the world's strongest magnet, and even stronger magnets are in the pipeline. In the end, all this infrastructure is there just to provide a space no bigger than my cupped hand in which the strongest fields are generated. And this field is then the stage on which scientists from all over the world perform their experiments. At HFML, we have a number of unique instrumentations, such as ultra-fast time domain spectroscopy, scanning probe microscopy, micro-raman photoluminescence, and ultra-low temperature susceptometry, all in the strongest magnetic fields. But for me, really, the, the combination of Felix and HFML is like the icing on the cake. Felix and HFML form a unique cluster of research facilities. In order to combine laser light and magnetic field, the Felix laser beams are directed almost 90 meters to the magnets in the neighboring building of HFML. Together, they offer possibilities to study matter and materials that cannot be matched anywhere else in the world. I combine the free electron lasers of Felix with the high field magnets of HFML. And in these experiments, we enter an unexplored regime where we often find new properties of advanced uh, materials. 
So we use the terahertz radiation to excite low energy excitations like electron spin resonances, uh, magnons or phonons, or charge density waves in solids. Every year, more than 200 scientists come from all over the world to HFML and Felix. They collaborate with the local experts and together push limits in science and innovation. HFML and Felix provide free and open access to their facilities. Most recently, uh, when graphene was discovered, one of the first things that was done is run to Nijmegen, put the graphene in the high fields and discovered quantum Hall effect even at room temperature. And now with the combination, we can do spectroscopy and we can study the properties, the structure and dynamics of molecules and of materials in the highest fields. You can not exactly, of course, predict what will happen. But looking at the past, it's obvious that under these unique conditions, we will discover new properties of new materials. Our dream is that the HFML and Felix will lead to discoveries that can only be done with our infrastructures here at the Radbert University in Nijmegen. It is really exciting to think that we can go to areas that no one has been before.